Hey, Dr. Tyler Williams with Better Sleep SLC, and you're here watching this because you have some questions about mouth breathing versus nose breathing and how that impacts your sleep and how you may be struggling to get good sleep or you know, a lot of people complain about dry mouth or congestion or sinuses and uh, different things. You know, I've had septum surgery myself because I used to wake up with a congested nose in the morning quite often or when I was doing uh, heavy exercise like cycling or mountain biking or uh, you know other kind of really active exercises it felt like I wasn't getting enough air in my nose uh, when I would breathe really heavily right when my heart rate was up and so this is a really good uh, thing to be looking into and lots of people have this question so good job on being here taking the first step to find out how and get more information so a couple things to keep in mind is that as your nose and your mouth move backward, they basically connect when you get partway down your throat. So when you have something like snoring or sleep apnea, getting things uh, changed or fixed, sinus surgery, septum surgery, um, you know, things inside of your mouth, those don't really have much of an impact on your snoring or your obstructive sleep apnea. So, you know, in my case, is I wasn't getting my septum fixed because I thought it was going to dramatically improve some sleep issue, right? I've never been diagnosed with uh, sleep apnea, but if I had, because of what I know, I would understand that fixing my septum or if I had a sinus infection or something like that, it's not going to fix my sleep apnea because any blockages or any openings here are in front of the blockage. When you have sleep apnea, it's your tongue blocking your airway. So everything in front of your tongue, you know, so from here up, uh, really doesn't improve snoring or breathing when you're asleep because that's kind of where everything comes to a Y shape. Um, a lot of people have dry mouth in the morning because their mouths will be open because they're snoring or clenching their teeth and if you clench your teeth a lot of times it might only be for a few minutes during the night but your body will start to realize there's something going on and so it moves your jaw around so a lot of people will pop open um, also a lot of people with um, small jaws or reclined jaws they just kind of naturally fall open when they lie back which is very common so sometimes sleeping on your side can help that a bit but there are a couple things you can do for dry mouth. Um, there are tablets you can get called Xylomelts. They're xylitol melts. They take about an hour to dissolve. And they're little discs. You can put them on the roof of your mouth or in your cheek. They slowly dissolve. And they'll help alleviate some of the symptoms of your dry mouth. Now, they're not going to stop the dry mouth. But they can help alleviate some of the symptoms. And often we'll have people wear those inside of an oral appliance or CPAP or mouth guard or whatever device they're wearing during nighttime. And then when you wake up, it helps so that you can often, you know, have your mouth feeling less dry. Uh, another thing we do is we have uh, elastics that go with some types of our sleep appliances. And those elastics actually help gently hold your appliance together, which gently keeps your teeth together, which gently keeps your mouth closed. So you don't have that open mouth that dries out so easily. The, the other way to do this is with mouth tape, and 3M makes a tape. There are a couple other kind of tapes you can get. It's almost like an athletic tape, but you would just simply tape that over your lips when you go to sleep. And we're not talking about, you know, wrapping tape around your head where your mouth's forced shut. But I've done this and tested this many times. If you just put a bit of tape right over your lips when you go to sleep, your mouth will naturally rest in a position where it wants to keep that tape from pulling apart. And then when you wake up, nine out of ten times for me when I've tried this my uh, my lips are still together and the tape's still there now I'm not having major problems with dry mouth or sleep apnea or anything as I mentioned but I like to try a lot of this stuff out to make sure that it works for people like you watching these videos so we can help you out as much as possible uh, if you have some more questions don't hesitate to call or text us um, we do get a lot of calls and texts throughout the week so be patient it may take us a day or two to get back but we'll be happy to answer your questions, or you can leave some comments in the video. We can answer those that way. Again, from all of us at Better Sleep SLC, we wish you a good night of rest. Uh, we wish you to have healthy TMJ and less migraines and headaches and a good night of sleep. 
and we're here to help you out however we can. So have a wonderful day, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks.